Hey everybody, this is Scott. I apologize for not having done that many posts lately. I got a job, I'm working for the man, so I haven't been able to, uh, to make as many as I would like. But I wanted to do a, a, a microphone comparison test again. Um, as you guys know, I do a lot of different videos and I've been doing a lot for work as well. And what I'm playing with right now is the new um, Canon XA20 professional camcorder. Now what I like about this camcorder is, well first of all I think the picture is really good, but the other thing that I like about it is is that it has professional XLR inputs. So I wanted to compare uh, a new microphone uh, with this camera. So I picked up the Audio-Technica AT875R and that's what we're listening to right now. But what's important is, is that I wanted to compare this microphone to a couple of other microphones that I've used. So bear with me. I'm going to swap microphones, change the inputs so you guys can hear the difference. Now in this case, I've switched over to the Rode VideoMic Pro. And what I like about the VideoMic Pro is that it's really small, worked great with digital SLR cameras. Uh, and that's what I used it with. Uh, I still have my T4i, although I think I'm going to sell that. So the Rode VideoMic Pro works really well with it. That's what you're listening to now. Now, I did increase the gain on it. One of the nice things about that microphone is that you can increase the gain on it. And that's what I did. So it's up to the plus 20 uh, uh, decibel gain on that. So um, now what I also want to do is let me share with you the other microphone that I've used a lot of. In fact, most of my videos are with that. And that okay, and now what you're hearing is the Sony UWP-V1. It's a wireless lav mic. And I will tell you, I've used uh, uh, this one quite a bit. Love the fact I can be you know, really far away. Obviously, I'm just in my home office right now, but I can be really far away and still get good audio. And I also have the, uh, the wireless uh, handheld mic that goes with it. So very, very handy uh, uh, microphone. So anyway, those are the three microphones. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my setup here. I'm in a very small office. Yes, I'm in front of a chroma key, but uh, this is my office and I know the acoustics typically are not very good. Sometimes I've got printers running in, in quiet mode. Sometimes I got my Mac making some fan noises. There's a PC making a fan noise, but there's also a lot of echo because I don't have any of this padded or anything like that. Again, it's just my regular home office. So there's going to be a lot of echo coming off the walls and the glass French doors and all that. So anyway, I hope this helps you make a comparison. I'm going to switch back over in one second to the uh, XLR mic. Hold on. Okay, and I'm back with the new uh, AT 875R short shotgun mic from Audio-Technica. I love the fact because this just it just looks good with the camera, uh, definitely looks professional. But I also think if I'm doing some close-up shots, talking head, training type videos, that that would be really good. So, uh, you know, sometimes even getting the wired lav mic up through the shirts and jackets and eh, it can be a pain. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. Again, sorry, I haven't made too many posts, uh, just been working for the man, but I hope you found this useful. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.